The third arena of this free to play. I'm gonna go to Paladin. Matter Bomber. Good stuff. Well, kinda good. Not as good in Paladin. Silverhand Knight, a classic. I think Coliseum Manager is actually a good card in Arena. Um, and a third five this early on is not that good. So I think it's time to manage some Coliseums. Loot Hoarder. Acolyte. Shattered's alright. It's good. War Horse Trainer. Seems alright. Frost Elemental is considered the stronger pick. I do have uh, three threes already also. I'm gonna go with the Frosty. Youth. Ooh, Murloc Knight. That card is insane. Eldor. Looks like Light's Justice here. Yep. <sighs> Ogre Brute is really good. I have a lot of threes, but Ogre Brute's still really good. Pretty easy lance, given the other two cards. I was just wondering how good of a card it was, though. Turns out... It's alright. It's alright to pretty good. It's actually somewhere between pretty good and really good. In Arena. Two uh, lesser used weapons here. Oh, the Shredder. Yeti. There we go. Getting the four drops. Tuscar Jouster. 5 mana, 5-5 five, five with an upside. Uh, should beat out the teacher since I have. Is it zero spells I have right now? Yeah, zero spells I have. Smith is really good with my justice and lance. The watchman, the assassin, or the questing. So I do have not that many early game cards. I have a bunch of threes. I think the assassin is proper here. It'll be very difficult to uh, buff adventure with this deck. So far. King's Recension, I believe it's King's, yeah. Abomination or Questing Adventure. This one will go to Questing Adventure. This is kind of a controlly deck. I do have a lot of fives already though. And Abomination is just about the worst in the Paladin deck. Alright, I think here I choose the Raptor over the Better Crusader. I only have three two drops. And I have so many threes. More Raptor. Oof, three good cards here. Could use more fours, and I'll take a four. Could use more big late game. No, I think I have enough. Flame Juggler versus Mad Bomber. Interesting. Probably Flame Juggler since I'm a Paladin. Hmm, though if I knew I had two Acolyte of Pains, I might have gone with the Bomber. Seal of Champions versus Spectral Knight. I was actually talking with uh, at PAX since the Lord of the Arena event was there and most people considered Paladin a strong class like we had a mini debate about how good Seal of Champions was and it ranged from bad to ridiculous and it was more on the side of it's slightly bad but I was convinced actually that it is pretty strong and comparable to Blessing of Kings I also have a lot of fives anyways well, I have a decent amount of late game, I should say. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I think it's time for Ice Rager. I do have a lot of threes, but... But Ice Rager. It's... The stats aren't too bad. Humility or BBB? Yeah, I don't have any removal in this deck. Could use a Humility, I guess. Hand of Protection or Frigid Snowball in the deck with absolutely no spells which deal damage. Or Leper Gnome. This deck really doesn't push the damage, so basically would be picking up one mana to win. I'll go Hand of Protection. And fun- oh, Muster for Battle. Sweet. I'll take that one. Alright. Looks kinda mediocre. Notably missing all of the, uh... Not all of the great Paladin cards, but there's no True Silver, Protector, Mini Bot, Consecration. Hammer of Wrath. I did get a Blessing of Kings and a Seal of Champions, if you consider Seal of Champions a great Paladin card, which it may or may not. And uh, I did get Murloc Knight, which is really good. Sturdy two Yetis and Shredder. Reasonable amount of late game, good amount of early game, a lot of threes, and solid. And it's a Paladin. About average. I'll guess seven. 
I will fight with honor. Go, go, Raptors. get punished if he hits my face. Punished. We must cleanse the sunlight. This turns out to look to be pretty strong. Mostly because he uh, hit my face there. If he had traded, I'd have to play the raptor and then float a mana. I'd probably play the hand of protection on it. But now I have a lot more flexibility in what to do. Could even play the uh, murloc knight on turn 4. But probably better to Hmm. Oh, well, that's good. I was just thinking, like, if I play Hand of Protection, I float a mana. Well, this allows me to do it perfectly. Depending on whether or not I draw a big card or a small card, I'll go Raptor Guy or Yeti. Uh, if I draw a big guy, I'm more likely to go raptor guy. Three, four, five, six, seven. Push forward. Oh, that's pretty good for him. I meant if I draw a small guy, I'm more likely to do this play because I need to uh, spend more mana over time. If I had drawn something big, I could play the Yeti and not run out of cards as fast. We go. Reporting for duty. <laughs> oh man. Push forward. The battle. For justice. Murloc Knight is actually insane in arena. In constructed, uh, before I left for PAX, I replaced a Sylvanas with a Murloc Knight. Mm -hmm. Sylvanas is better in Arena than Constructed because there's a lot more minion combat granted, but it does speak to just how good Murloc Knight is. Anyways, I'll just do two mana, seven, three guys. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Seven of uh, 17, 20. <laughs> wow, rip this guy. Oh my gosh. That's insane. What are we doing here? For justice. Let the pain speak to me. I wonder if you get a lot of experience with Murloc Knight since he spawned so many guys. Experience farming, since I am only a level 1 paladin on this new account. I don't think pressing the button gives you experience though. Oh well. Oh, I'm being told you don't actually get experience for summoning them. I mean for playing. I mean for summoning. You need to play the cards for the experience. That's a good one. Hopefully I draw two. I smell blood. Reporting for 
Alright. It was that or a uh, Coliseum manager and trade the 1 1. Uh, being able to muster for battle and kill a guy with Light's Justice, though, is pretty valuable. Even though he might do like doggies, that's still fine. It's just Arcane Explosion. So far, looking good. For justice! Skipped turn two, but the button is a nice consolation prize for Paladin. Put this apple on your head. Uh, what you want? Okay, I actually think I should push the button over loot order because once I play this Colosseum Manager, it's going to be really hard to push the button. So having something that I can just spare the two is pretty good. I'm running pretty low on the mana, sir. On the health. Oh, filthy hunter! Lose a joust. Is this the Darn. You think this is funny? The battle. No ticket. This is funny. Well played. Hmm, nothing. Weird. How does he have nothing? I hear you got a problem. Uh-oh. Well played. Uh-oh. <laughs> or maybe I just win. Uh-oh. But no? Hmm. Hmm? Okay. Almost. 5, 12, 14, 15, 16. Give me a quest. Find if I roll <laughs> That was very funny. Flame juggler. Meh. Go play a hard counter blood imp. Bring out your dead. Coining Acolyte of Pain might be really good here. Could draw three cards off of it. But I'll stay on curve. I think if I had another three drop, I'd have done it. Slow start from the opponent. Wow, that's a non-valuable corruption, as I was just going to run into that anyways. Toasty. 
Uh, do I go Murloc Knight? Or I could just Bloodfin Raptor guy. I have no 6 drops, so I'll play the uh, Murloc Knight on 6. They'll never know what Humility Valley. Play a uh, Silver Hand with it, I guess. With two Acolyte of Pains in this deck, Humility might actually be pretty good. Well, Humility is better than Average. Summoning portal open. <laughs> I smell blood. Glory to the Sindora. <laughs> Oops, almost misplay. Reporting for duty. Bring the battle! To battle! Knight is really good as being just a, like, if you're ahead, you win the game. Unless they have AoE. And if you're not ahead, then it's just like an average card. Well, a slightly above average card. Four six, so I'll probably be using this Murloc. Reporting for duty. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, well that wants to be protected now. Instead of this guy. Wait, did I win? Five nine thirteen fifteen sixteen. No, I didn't. That's so tempting to keep the Seal of Champions under the assumption that the youthful Brewmaster survives. Oh, that curve. I'm gonna keep this. Oh, that's so greedy. No, I'll keep. Alright, I got something to play. Um, probably useful brewmaster of a raptor. Drink with me, this is currently a drawback. Alright, so I stole one of these cards. 50% chance it was a 3 2. Sure. He stole Shredder. Challenge accepted. Do you think the meta has become even faster after the Grand Tournament? I'm assuming you mean Constructed. No. And if you don't mean Constructed in Arena, the answer is still no. It's actually gotten slower. Oh, I was thinking it didn't say Created by Mind Vision. Oh my gosh, Shredder into Shredder. OP. I was like, shouldn't it say that he stole it with Mind Vision? Boo. There's a question also, is Armorsmith still value enough in Control Warrior? Even though I say it's slower, Armorsmith is still essential, I'd say. If it ever becomes super control heavy, Armorsmith could theoretically be cut. Oh my gosh. 
Shredder, shredder, shredder. Oh, wow. Uh, that was like a 33% chance to get Shredder. Okay, the Slight's Justice will be very good. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Except I can't hit anything with Light's Justice. Gosh. Well, that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, holy no, a rip me. It's a really good target for the assassin. <laughs> Problem solved. Not solved yet, but in the right direction. I think I'm gonna make a guy, even though the guy just gets him a heal. Now I'll just equip the lance. Very good chance I play the mustard for battle next turn. But there's also a chance that I don't, and in the case that I don't, I wouldn't want to use the uh, weapon to hit the face. I think I just play Yeti and pass. This uh, trade is very bad for me, and I can't give him a card. Go, Ice Ranger Valley. Get him. Go, go, go. Reporting for duty. Embrace the void. Hmm. Ah, you fool! I have another Lights Justice. Hmm. Really what did me in was the shredder shredder shredder. The battle. The battle. Well, I can't even really say that. Reporting for duty. Well played. The victory is yours. I'll keep because I have the Yeti also. There's the real chance that the Blessing of Kings is a dead card, but... 
I can just go two, three, four. In this case, I can go two, uh, one of the fours is three. Looks like a really strong start. I wonder if a really long time ago I would have hit the Acolyte of Pain to try to deny value, but Fire Blast on that would probably be too slow. Would possibly be too slow. And he is not going to do it. Push forward. I'll play the 4-3 against something with 2 attack. If it had 3 attack, I probably would have played Yeti. If it had 4 attack, I probably would have played Yeti. If it had 5 attack, I'd have played Shredder. It's interesting how Shredder and Yeti are better or worse, based on the attack value of the opponent's minions. It's worth uh, Aldering. About to wander into Flame Strike. The turn. Ice Rager is pretty good against this. I think I'm okay with the Flame Strike. Not really okay with it, but this isn't hitting that many things. Ice Rager basically has to be played on an empty board, or a board where the opponent has one really strong minion. But if I do it in that circumstance, the Ice Rager can have its true power recognized. Hmm. I have to kill... I have to. I, I should consider killing this due to the possibility of effigy. Play this against Mirror. No. And uh, Finicky Cloakfield and Ice Rager. That is a combo. Patient Assassin is kind of a combo with Cloakfield too. Using the word combo really liberally. Which is to say, putting stealth on a high attack, low health minion is a good idea. Hmm. I'm really approaching the end game here. I'll play the Jouster. Gave a lot of consideration to Cloakfielding this, or Ice Rager Cloakfield. Oh my gosh, it's another. Well, could be a Flame Strike. Just Dragon's Breath. Basically have to tempo him out of the game. He hasn't played his spare part yet, so the last card is spare part. Oh, that's a good one. I have to think about whether or not to kill the 1-4. 
Oh, okay. 